I'm going to demo on how to create a system volume snapshot using the OpenShift container platform and OpenShift container storage. This is my OpenShift platform and I have the OpenShift container storage installed. For this demo, I prepare a simple application. This application is a file uploading application. Where you can choose a file to upload into the systems. And this is the sample text file that I have uploaded into this application. Well, this file will be persisted into the persistent volume used by these applications. Therefore, if you happen to delete the port or restart the applications, the persistent volume will persist the file and you will still able to retrieve the file. Next, I'm going to uh, make a volume snapshot of this. So, the volume snapshot is uh, representing the state of the storage volume in a cluster at that particular point of time. So, if I make a snapshot here, so that will consist of uh, the previous file that I have uploaded in these snapshots. So what I'll do is I'm going to use this uh, assistant volume to create, I'm going to choose this create snapshot. So this is the UI to create the volume snapshots. I'll use the default name and I'm going to choose a snapshot class. So in this case, this is the uh, snapshot class that is provided by the OpenShift container storage. And other information like, for example, the requested capacity, the access mode, all these information and also uh, their parameters are to be same as the volume that we are going to uh, make the snapshot. So I'm going to click the create button. So you can see the volume snapshot uh, go from uh, pending and now it's ready. So if we go back to the list, so we can see uh, there's a snapshot that has been created with the original uh, assistant volume. So now if I go back to the applications, I'm going to try to upload the second file. So now this application actually has two uh, files that being uploaded and persisted into the volume. So what I happen, what I do is, I'm going to use a snapshot which only consists the previous one uh, file and uh, restore back to the persistent volume. Okay. So from the volume snapshots, I go to the uh, snapshot that I want to restore. I choose restore as a new PVC. I'll leave the uh, default name as it is. And uh, I need to choose the storage class. Again, this storage class is provided by the uh, OpenShift container storage. And all the information has to remain as the same as the uh, original volume. Let's go ahead and restore this. You can see the status is uh, moving from pending to on. So if we go back to our persistent volume claims, so we can see there are two uh, items listed here. So one is the original my storage, and then I have a second PVC which is uh, which I restore from my snapshots. So the current one should consist of two files, while the snapshot should have only one file. So now what I'll do is I'll go back to my applications. I'm going to make the changes to point to my. Uh, new persistent volume that I just restore so that I can demonstrate to you that I managed to restore from the next snapshot and the snapshot should only contains uh, one file. So I'm going to change my persistent volume claim to the name of the new uh, restore persistent volume.
now I'm going to save this deployment. So if we go back to the deployment, and we should see uh, a new port is being spawned with the new configurations. So now the new port uh, has been spawned and is pointing to the new persistent volume that I have restored from the snapshot. So if we go back to the applications and let's do a refresh. You can see in this application it only contains one file, which is the data that I have restored from the snapshots. Thank you for watching.